Hi, welcome to Hoops Junction. Game 7 tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Who takes it all? Oklahoma City Thunder or the Golden State Warriors? Who are the Cavs going to face? That is the question. And I think I have the answer. Not quite sure it's 100% accurate, but I have the answer. Let's start on the Oklahoma City side. The Oklahoma City Thunder became game one, still home court advantage. Game two, lost the game. It was a blowout. Game three, blew the Warriors out. Game four, blew the Warriors out. I had a 3 1 advantage. Psychologically, their confidence was high. The game plan was, was thought out and thorough. Pound them on the glass. KD, Westbrook, attack their stars. KD, do all the scoring. Westbrook, do all the heavy lifting of rebound and assist. They had a formula, it was working for them. Then, game five, they lose that. Game six, in the last five minutes of the game, they got outplayed. They only scored one, I think, one for five in four or five minutes. Four or five minutes, they only scored one basket. That was a putback. So they completely collapsed. Now, I know in their locker room, they're saying that, look, we could win this game. We could definitely come back. You know, we've done it before. It's, it's not an issue. We could do this. We could beat. We could beat them. We beat them game one. We blew them out twice at home. We, our, our confidence is high. We could do exactly that. So, for the Thunder, their game plan remains the same. Westbrook and KD do all the heavy lifting. Try to keep our turnovers down and pound them on the glass. And let's just hope we overwhelm them and in, into a loss. Now, Golden State side, they can the game plan is and it's been the same the entire season. Move the basketball. Get, get go from a good shot to a great shot. Get open jumpers and try to get Stephen Curry and Clay loose. So that's their game plan. And another thing for the Golden State Warriors, they need everybody to contribute. That's they been their mantra the entire season. That's why they went 7 73 and 9. It wasn't just because of Stephen Curry or Clay Thompson. It was a collective group. Everybody was contributing. So they had that going for them. And then when they uh, got with Oklahoma City, they ran into a roadblock. The length of Oklahoma City bothered them. The athleticism bothered them. And then you got to remember, Stephen Curry wasn't 100%. And he still isn't, you know, coming from that MCL injury where he missed almost two weeks of basketball. So that being said, who wins Game 7? People could go with Oklahoma City for the simple fact that they're much bigger, they're much stronger, they have better athletes, and they have the two best players. <laughs> well, they they have two stars on one side, while Golden State has literally, like, one star. They're athletic, and they've won in Golden State already. People side with Golden State because they have the home court advantage, the home team's 124. So that gives the Oklahoma City Thunder a percentage of 19% of winning this game tonight. So that could happen, you know. It, they could win the game, but all the stats are in Golden State's favor. This is the thing that really gets me here. Basketball is a game of runs. It's a game of momentum, and the play switches from series to series. I mean, and series to series and game to game. Like you, you won't have a guy play really good one game and. Then, then, you know, he can't come back and redeem himself if he played bad the prior game, whatever the case may be. So, each game is its own entity. And Oklahoma City had Golden State on the ropes, and they didn't impose their will. And that is a huge mistake. That is the biggest mistake you could possibly make. You, you never want to give a champion a chance to come back and, and redeem themselves. You know, this happened with San Antonio. They could have closed down the Heat in uh, six games, but Ray Allen hits the big shot. First of all, LeBron, all these offensive rebounds, LeBron gets a three to tie it. I'm not tired, like make it down one, and then, you know, the Ray Allen hits the shot. And everybody remembers that shot, Ray Allen. Sends it into overtime. I mean, that alone, they won game six, came back, won game seven. So recent history shows you why you do not give champions a, a second chance. You don't give them any breath. You know, you, you take away their breath, their fire, their desire, everything. 
And Oklahoma City, I think what they did is they looked at it like we can't close them out. We didn't close them out five. No worries. Set, set, game six is fine. And that's not how you look at it. Because in game six, something clicked for the Warriors. And now the Thunder have let, left the gate open. And now they have to go back to Oakland and they have to win, win the game. Which, you know, it's anybody's game. Game seven is anybody's game. But this, here's the thing. In game six, if you notice, down the stretch, there were a ton of turnovers by OKC. Westbrook had five turnovers the entire game. KD had three. I think Westbrook had three turnovers down the stretch. KD had like two turnovers down the stretch. That is the doubt. That is the fear of losing. That is not playing to win, but you know, uh, plan not to lose. And that's what happened to them. Now they have to go into a hostile environment and actually win the game and play out of their minds. But not just play out of their minds. They have to expect Roberson to play out of his mind. They have to expect um, Adams to play out of his mind. They have to expect uh, Serge Ibaka to play out of his mind. And the thing is, it's not like they've been playing like scrubs. The the games that they've they've lost, Oklahoma City... Bach has played pretty well. Adams has played pretty well. Roberson has played pretty well. Game six, they got more contributions from their from their uh, bench and starting five than the Golden State Warriors. Golden State Warriors literally were a, a two man show. They were a two man show, and Draymond Green kind of picked up the slack a little bit. Even him, he had five fouls, and he wasn't you know he wasn't really great on the plus minus. So you're expecting them. Their confidence is shaking. They can tell you whatever they want to tell you. But if you don't beat a team, you, you're up 3-1, to one, and now you're tied 3-3 three, three, and you don't beat them, your confidence is shaking. So the way I look at it like this is Game 6 was their make-or-break game. Game 7 tonight, they're, they have a chance to win it if they keep it close. But if there's a 10-point lead any point in this game, it's over. It's over. It's over for them. And Kevin Durant is going to leave. You see, even, even if they win... And they would go to the NBA Finals. To me, that's a better matchup for Cleveland. And Kevin, LeBron will get a third ring. And guess what? Kevin Durant's going to leave. So they already missed their chance. They 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 screwed with the, the with the so-called basketball gods, whatever they call it. They screwed with the cardinal rule of basketball. When you have your opponent and you have them in a tight situation, you need to close them out. Point blank, period. Because right now, the way that... Clay Thompson has finally had like a huge game. Like it's been two or three years in the playoffs. Clay Thompson has never had like a huge forty some odd game. Tonight was the night he had a huge game. Steph I mean the, the game six he had a huge game. Stephen Curry played extremely well. And for all of those that say he can't play the defense, he's not a good this, he's not a good that. He had twenty nine points, nine assists, he had ten rebounds. So not only was he showing you his shooting prowess. He was assisting on plays, and he was rebounded. So, right now, the Warriors' uh, confidence is at all-time high. They figured they figured out the Oklahoma City Thunder. They tried. They have to bottleneck Westbrook and and uh, Durant. They have to contain them at all times. Number two, they just have to protect the glass. And protecting the glasses means everybody tries to attack the glass at all times, which you saw Curry did in Game 6. That's how he got 10 rebounds. He was attacking the glass. He was grabbing rebounds. They were getting loose balls. You know, if, if you notice the games that the Warriors lost, all those 50-50 balls, they were losing them. And I think that getting, winning game six has showed them, look, we have to get all our 50-50 balls. We have, to, we have to make conscious effort to rebound the basketball. And if they do that, and they have Draymond Green running the break, Stephen Curry running the lanes, you know, filling the lanes, they're going to get wide open layups. And the thing is, all the rudimentary plays that they made during the regular season and during all their series, which they were getting easy bread and butter shots, you know, they were missing a bunch of layups against OKC. Some of it was length, but most of it was just nerves. They were missing point blank shots, missing wide open shots. And I think playing at home, they have the crowd behind them. They have a newfound confidence because they know, look, we were down three to one. Everybody wrote us off and we just won two straight. And now we're trying to make it three straight to go to the NBA Finals. I think their confidence is just... At way, it's way too high. It's way too high, and they're going to come out, and they're going to be throwing a lot of haymakers, just like Oklahoma City is going to throw the haymakers, but with the intensity of the crowd, with the desperation OKC is going to be playing with, 
it's going to be a dogfight, hell of a game, but I have to give the edge to go to state. I think they're going to close, close the Thunder out and go to the back-to-back -back NBA Finals. I may be wrong. Hey, stranger things have happened because, you know, this series has been up and down, up and down. Who would have thought that the Warriors would have came back from 3-1? to one? But here's the thing. I mean, okay, see what, yeah, Warriors will come back 3-1. to one. Here's the thing, though. That was a different OK Warriors team. Even Marv Alba was saying, you know, it's kind of weird. We, this is not the same team. They're playing a lot of isolation basketball. Ball's not moving. What's going on with these guys? And they started citing all these things. And then slowly but surely, they woke up the sleeping giant. And they woke up the baby. And I, when I say they woke up the baby, I mean Stephen Curry. They woke that guy up. Everybody was trash talking him in the media. They said he wasn't good. They said he wasn't this, wasn't that. When the shot is not going, he can't play. Guess what? He he showed you guys something else, so I'm I'm leaning towards the Warriors to Game Seven. I'm I think they're gonna go ahead, go back back to back NBA Finals, and it's gonna be a rematch of Cavaliers and and the, and the Golden State Warriors. And only way I can see OKC winning the game is if the Warriors have a huge letdown, like nobody shows up, Curry doesn't show up, uh, Clay Thompson doesn't show up. But here's the thing, they've taken OKC's best shot. They've taken the abuse on the boards. They've taken the physical play. They've taken the non calls that they've they've been they haven't gone to the line nearly as much as they should have. They've taken all of the abuse, and now it's still tied. So what does that tell you? The mental edge is for them. The momentum is for them, and I think they're gonna close it out. I think they're gonna close it out. And Kevin Durant has some tough decisions to make. I would love to see him come to L.A. Come come and uh. Boost my team, please. <laughs> but other than that, man, that's that's my prediction. Going to, going to state, going back to the, back to back to the NBA finals, and they're gonna close Oklahoma City Thunder out. And it's 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 hard because if you look at the series, besides shooting too much, Kevin Durant and Westbrook have played great. I don't think the Thunder. I think besides Game Six and Game Two getting all played, I feel like they've they've been the better team. But what happens is that doesn't matter anymore once once you give up so many bad plays, once you revert back to your old old self. Once the it's like Jack Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It's like, you know, you were really good one moment and then you reverting back to the old way and you you blew the game, blew the series. Literally they just blew the series. Because you, you cannot allow that to happen. You don't score in five minutes, that's 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 awful. So I look for Golden State to close them out. I think I think they're gonna bottleneck Durant and Westbrook. I think they're gonna full court trap them, full court press, and I think they're gonna they're gonna do what they have to do to get back to NBA Finals. I mean, it's been a long journey. This has been one of those crazy series, and the, and the NBA playoffs had like a lot of games, a lot of tunnel blowouts and everything like that. I don't I don't understand that. It's it's not it doesn't make for good basketball. Sometimes a twenty point blowout, thirty point blowout, you know, crazy stuff. But game six was one of the best games we've seen in the playoffs. And then um, now we're gonna see another great game. But like I said, if the Oklahoma City Thunder get down any t point in the game by ten, even if it's down by seven or eight, and and you got Clay Thompson coming off a hot game, Curry. Curry not even coming off a hot game, but he still ended it hot. I mean, that's the recipe for disaster. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know who you think is going to take the series. This is Vlad from Who's Junction, where hoops meets hoopla.